in veel staten zijn wapens vrij te koop. En het is dan ook het land met de meeste wapens per inwoner ter wereld. Hey Metropolis, this is Josh reporting from Kennesaw, Georgia. The only town in the south where it is illegal for the head of the household to not own a gun. Het bezit van een vuurwapen is hier dus verplicht. You want the Mossberg 12 gauge? Yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's a good choice. Keith vaart hier wel bij, want hij verdient zijn geld met het verkopen van vuurwapens. En uh, if you can't, if you can come up with cash, I'll do you a lot better on cash. You know, I'm gonna go to the bank and get cash. You're gonna go to the bank and get cash? All right, well let me know. All right, I'll be here. My name's Keith. Keith? Yep. Steven, well, I'll see you in a minute then. Sometimes things get crazy. You know, it's even close to the holidays. And, you know, it's, it's, it's best to, you know, protect yourself. Keith is meer dan alleen een simpele wapenverkoper. Voor hem zijn wapens een echte passie. You can see we got an assortment of of just about everything. We've got AKs, we've got a heavily modified AKs. AK pistols. It's legal to, for anyone to own as long as you don't have a felony or anything. You don't get any more iconic than this. It's a 45, it's a Tommy gun. Comes with the 100 round drum. I can I can break this AK down with my eyes closed. Um 308s, hunting rifles, shotguns. Keith kan het dus echt, een AK-47 demonteren met zijn ogen dicht. Hij heeft thuis dan ook genoeg wapens liggen om mee te oefenen. How many are in your collection? A few. More than ten. Keith deelt zijn liefde voor wapens ook graag met anderen. Put your hands on top of the slide. Daarom traint hij zijn 14-jarige dochter Nova regelmatig. Now you reset the trigger, remember? Is the Watch it. Pull the trigger, bring it back. He's a good dad. It's just sometimes he's tougher on me, but. Uh, trained around at 22. Gun safety has been paramount from the very beginning. You know, she, she knows what she's doing. Put your hands on top of the slide. My mom hasn't been around a whole bunch, so it's like he's been the one stable thing in my life, so I feel safer around him. And it just, it feels like if someone did try to get into the house or something or do something weird, I would know how to protect myself. Hostage situation. <laughs> this is all that you got to hit. Eventually, towards the end, we'll just take its shotguns to it, but... I've got six handguns and an AR-15. Like, I understand. Because yeah. I'm like, this doesn't feel like I should be allowed to do this. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Basic rules are never put your finger in the trigger well till you're ready to fire. Never point a weapon at anything you're not willing to destroy. Just keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. That's, that's pretty much one of the most important things. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick one target. Yeah. Does anybody ever accuse you of stockpiling? I don't care. No, don't even worry about aiming. Don't even worry about aiming? Just nope. shoot it? Just shoot it. What do I Safety. shoot it at? Whatever you want to. Pick pick a target. <laughs> Safety's off. You're, ready. You're hot. I forgot. No, you gotta pull, just pull the trigger for the first one. <laughs> Rack it. Woo! Rack it. Lean into it. Get mad at it.
Whenever I do go shooting, I like right, to be accurate. It's just like I don't emphasize it. I'm just kind of like going out to shoot. I'm just being able to be there when I'm good with them. Some of his friends, I'm better at that, so that makes me feel better. Yeah, Olivia, you're far more experienced with this kind of crap than I am. Man. I'm a lot younger than you. I know. <laughs> and a girl, which is blowing all sorts of stereotypes, which I think is fabulous. Other countries will make a gun registry. From what I've been told, Australia is one of the ones that doesn't allow handguns. So the way they start is they start a gun registry where when you buy a handgun, you have to register it. And people are like, well, it's for safety, and if those guns ever get stolen, they have your information. It all looks like protection. Until eventually the ban is passed and they say, okay, you can no longer own guns. And they come to my house and go, well, according to the gun registry, you have four guns. And that's what overheidsbemoeien is. That has Michael a broertje dood aan. <laughs> I'm a firm believer that a government should be afraid of its people. <laughs> Hell of a way to finish a conversation. <laughs> That's it. Put safety on. Good job. <laughs>